Oh, that's right. I recently got um, approached by the company representing very popular mobile games. And they're like, hey, we'd like to pay you this amount to do a promotional stream. And I replied and I said that it's not really for me, right? Just because it's it's not my audience, I would, I'd feel kind of icky doing it. But then I uh, also brought up the fact that very popular mobile game marketing budget is stupid. Like they just throw money around like it's nothing else, right? Was it for the YouTube? Not sure, actually. That was never made clear. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But I mean, put it this way, right? A lot of big YouTubers take them up on the offer, right? So that tells you something as, as the type of game that it is. And it's a gotcha game, right? Like it's literally just um, repetitive, um, free to play with, you know, like pay to win mechanics, etc. or whatever. And, and I and I just threw a number out. I said, imagine if they offered like $5,000, right? It, that's not what they offered me. That was much less than that. But um, I'm sure some of these bigger YouTubers, like they just get thrown gobs of money. They wouldn't take it. They wouldn't take them up on it, especially not reading that list of things that they have to read out. But we mentioned that $5,000 would be a life-changing amount of money. And I brought up the fact that at least living in Los Angeles, that would be gone very quickly. So for me, it wouldn't necessarily be life changing that and I have a ton of debt. So, I mean, that's that's just my story. And I think people assumed that I was I don't know how I maybe I was coming across across weird saying that or or whatever. But I certainly I certainly didn't mean it like that as much as a passion. If an opportunity arrives, you shame no one for taking it. The thing the thing with OK, so like if you look down like, OK, I've just got a new line of merch, right? It's line of merch. It's literally my logo thrown a few, on a few different clothing items. I don't mind any way streamer makes money, right? If you've got a side hustle or if you know you're on these other sites and you're you're selling pictures or, or whatever, right? Like that's good on you. Do your thing. I, I can't hate anyone for trying to make money, especially in this market. And then the volatility of the platforms comes into play as well. Like people are getting canceled left and right. You you have Mixer shutting down, right? You've got these massive streamers on Mixer. Just their their audience evaporates in a month. Like you you need to sort of branch out. But I'm of the opinion that I I need to believe in the product, right? Hundred percent. Fox said it right there. Authenticity is is key. Um, I really want to partner with. One, I'd like Red Bull to sponsor me. I drink enough of, enough of their shit. Two, I'd like to partner with a beard care brand, um, but not in a, hey, use my link kind of deal, but more of a, I would like to like come up with my own, I don't know, scent, flavor, whatever, right? And actually have like my name on a product. I think that might be possible. I don't know. I might look into that. But like good products too, like natural and you know good for your hair and that's the that's kind of the the two directions. So yeah, Red Bull hit me up. I'm I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> you don't mind funneling stupid marketing dollars into streamers you like. Being a sponsor like Raid into an ironic thing with the beard. With, sorry, with that being on brand for you as a streamer, since you did bring up Internet Historian. I just, so I, I've done mobile game reviews before and I've had companies pay me a lot of money just to, God, just to host an ad on, um, a host to like a launch video or something like a trailer, right? On my channel. Um, I've done all that. Like I started YouTube in 2012. I've reached out to some game companies and say, um, Hey, I would like to promote your game because I enjoy it so much. Um, and I, I, the only thing I ask for there is like a couple of extra keys so I can give it away to the, to the chat. And this goes for any, any content creators in the channel. There's a site called keymailer.co. I will link it down in the chat. Um, you create a, uh, a profile on there and you link all of your socials. And then that gives you kind of a, a profile rating, I guess. Um, but then like it gives you a list of games and you go through and you go, oh, I'd, I'd really like to check that out. And they may or may not send you a key based on, um, based on your, you know, your profile. But it's definitely worth worth checking out. I got Noita through there. Clearly, I think they got their money's worth there. You need to play video games flying off a ski ramp. 
So, Nomios, I did reach out to Red Bull and I was just like, it was a it was a shot in the dark, right? And I was just kind of saying, hey, what's up? This is me. Is this something that we could look at? And they said, um, they said they focus on esports brands, like on in the digital side, they focus on like esports. So you're talking about like the best of the best, the top of the field, right? Usually that's in competition based games. Um, Maybe I should hit him up and tell him I did complete a, a hitless run of one of the most difficult games around. No to no hit is an eSport. <laughs> Send them an email once a week. Right, right, right. Hey guys, me again. I think I think a um, in place of that monitor, a little Red Bull fridge would be... Would go there, I wouldn't mind. When you finished a long day of no hit, nothing gives you the energy like a fresh Red Bull. You got signed up with these sites, including Keymailer, but you have so many games backlogged, you haven't even used them yet. So the way I use them, um, I'll get emails periodically saying like, hey, we've got a promoted game. And that's where I guess the developers will tell Keymailer or, or whoever, hey, we've got X number of keys, like email this tier of, of creator. Otherwise, I'll actively seek out titles. Like, for example, Neon, goddamn, I keep forgetting the name of it. My next YouTube video will be based on it. Ne neon <laughs> shit. <laughs> Suffer, you, you mentioned it earlier today, I think. Whatever. The, the little shoot 'em up game I was playing recently, Neon something. Because I liked it so much, I hit I hit him up on, on Keymailer. In fact, I think I'd had my request in there for longer than I've had, if, like even before I played the, the demo. I think I saw Dunk play it, and then that was when I that was when I put my request in. You want Red Bull, but your parents are being overprotective. I mean, there is a lot of sugar in Red Bull. I don't blame them. I just, I just love it. I love the taste. Have a couple in the morning. I don't even think the caffeine in it really hits me. Um, but I just, it's just refreshing. It's like, it's like breakfast for me. I don't know. Most of the energy in energy drinks is just sugar. Back in Australia, they had a really good one called, um, Red Eye. Uh, and I haven't had it since leaving there. Oh, Jermaze is here. <laughs> Jermaze and I grew up together, so yeah, we he's, he's well aware of my love of the drink. Um, my favorite flavor, I think, was red. Shannon's was platinum, and yours was black, right? Dream Daddy stream. I don't even know what Dream Daddy is. Do I want to know? Caffeine withdrawal headaches, so you can't drink too much caffeine. Oh, okay. Drank red with wild turkey and black when I was just having it by myself. <laughs> I love it. It's a free game with Twitch Prime. Dream Daddy. A daddy dating simulator. I don't know if that's for me. People also search for coming out on top. Had a full boyfriend, Monster Prom, Honey Pop, Butterfly Soup. These games all sound very familiar. Like, sim similar. Do it, it's lovely. So the next game we'll be playing on stream is that neon game that I can never remember the name of. Comes out in less than two weeks. Um, uh, neon Abyss. Neon Abyss. It looks very, very good. Yeah, I, I played the demo and it's amazing. Like, I had so much fun with it. The creator or whatever is awesome and her talks about the dev process are great. Wait, what's the Game Grumps game? Hatterful Boyfriend? That's the pigeon dating simulator, right? Why do you guys want me to play that? <laughs> Dream Daddy is by Game Grumps? Really? What, what other game did they put out? They put out something in it. It either flopped or they raised money on Kickstarter. Or am I thinking of someone else? I'm a grump. What time is it? 10 o'clock. I haven't eaten, so I'm going to do that. Since I'm going to be streaming all day tomorrow. Let's, um, let's end a little bit earlier tonight. I really appreciate hanging out with you guys, though. That was so much fun.